we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Roosevelt Island with you and um, in the meantime also do a new youtuber tag because I realize I haven't really introduced myself on this platform and you guys don't really know me so I thought I would do a new youtuber tag um, my view right now is the Potomac River it's beautiful what I don't remember is um, there's a lot of airplanes that fly over here, so I apologize for the noise that we do here. So let's get on with it. All right, so the first question that we've got is what, at what age did I start traveling? And I actually didn't travel when I was younger. Um, my family never really had any, you know, disposable income to do that kind of stuff. Um, and we really didn't go anywhere, even in our own cities. So, but I always dreamt about traveling, like, I don't know why, um, you know, I kind of thought about basically city hopping every year, I would try to explore a different city around the world and then work as a bartender or something like that, just to make money and then move on to the next city and explore that and live the kind of the slow life. Um, that's still a dream, I still want to do that, uh, I, I don't know how realistic it is because now I'm married, um, and that's a little bit harder. Sorry about that plane noise, um, but yeah, so, when I started traveling was when I met my husband at 20, and he was a huge traveler. He's uh, five years older than I am, so he had, you know, a few experiences already. He went to China a few times, like Asia, um, Europe, you know, kind of global traveling. And so when we met, he introduced me to kind of explore California that I never really thought about in the first place. So I think our first trip was to Solvang, which is a very tiny town um, north of LA, north and inland, and it's like a little Dutch town. So we just kind of did a day trip out there. It took two and a half, um, two and a half hours to drive, and it was really nice, and it was like, that was my first road trip really, you know? Um, ever since then, we explored a lot of California, um, and then started doing more, uh, exploring in the country. So we went to New York, uh, New Mexico, um, San Francisco, things like that. What countries have I been to? And that is actually a limited number at the moment. I've only been to, um, well I was born in Indonesia, so that's first. Um, but I left when I was five and I haven't been back since I was eight. So I've been to Indonesia, I live in the United States. I've been to Mexico a few times, um, 
France one time and I'm missing one other place. Japan. In Japan. I loved all those places. Um, there's so many other countries I want to visit, aka the whole world. So, still lots to do. So my dream place to go is probably Antarctica to go see polar bears in the wild. I love polar bears and I really want to go photograph them in the wild. Um, before honestly, like I don't know what's gonna happen to them. They're gonna go extinct potentially. So if I can go see them before that happens, dream would come true, you know? Other than that, I would love to see, this is kind of, I mean, it's not really an exotic place, but England, because I love English culture and I, I like Harry Potter, <laughs> you know. My favorite memories from traveling, um, there's, I mean, there's not really a specific memory. I think I enjoyed having breakfast with my father-in-law and his girlfriend and my husband when we were in Paris right in front of the Arc de Triomphe and I mean it's such a simple moment but it was kind of also like otherworldly in a way like I didn't think I would ever have breakfast in front of such a monumental monument um, and just be so casual about it you know so that was really nice so the next question is, what's my favorite food I've tried from another country? And unfortunately, you know, when I've traveled in the past, I really didn't have much to spend on food. It wasn't a priority to me, um, just because, you know, we were on a budget and food wasn't really that high on the list. But, um, so I can't really, you know, confirm my favorite food because I really didn't try like exquisite food. It was what was available and what was cheap. But I, I mean, I talked about the breakfast in front of the Arc de Triomphe and um, we just had a simple, uh, I think it was like butter croissant, you know? That was delicious. Like I cannot express how delicious it was. It was just a croissant, but it was French croissants, croissant you know and yeah I'm gonna have to go with that was crazy but things are finally right you and I the future is bright you and I we got it we don't need beautiful today it's like 75 degrees and breezy and I don't have any complaints you hear how loud it can get where's the peace and quiet So I'm really hoping that I get back on the main path. This is not the main path. It's not supposed to be this small and windy. Um, I'm really liking it. I think it's kind of an adventure to go, you know, log hopping and all that. But recently there was an article that came out about how um, there's this new tick in Washington where if you get bit by it, you... Um, you get allergic to red meat and you know what I really like red meat I'd really like not to get bitten by it and one of the ways that you do get bit is through going in bushes <laughs> guess what I'm doing guys so another question is have I made any friends while I've traveled the thing is I don't converse I don't really like to talk to other people um, that's just not my nature you know, I kind of like to keep to myself, but I have made a couple of friends. I wouldn't even say friends, but I've met people while I have traveled. There we go. Um, one time when I was in Phoenix, Arizona, I was there for a photography conference. 
and I was staying at a hostel and I just befriended somebody who was also staying at that hostel um, and going to the conference. So we kind of, kind of kept in touch. I haven't really spoken to her in a few years, hence why I don't really consider them a friend. Um, and then when I was in Paris, I went to a, the uh, Claude Monet house and going by myself, my husband at the time, he went to um, Normandy and I befriended somebody who was there locally. She was by herself as well and we kind of just took photos of each other and that's how we became friends. <laughs> Um, again, I haven't spoken to her since Paris, so I really wouldn't consider that a friend. But I've met people, you know? And it's been nice. It's been nice to know people from around the country and kind of see how, you know, interact with them, I guess. Yeah. So the next question is, do I have any travel plans? And I'm gonna say yes, always. Um, I always have something that I wanna do in the vicinity. And then I'm, you know, planning outside trips. So at the moment we have a trip to Boston coming up. And then I, uh, we're gonna go to uh, Ecuador in December area and I'm so excited about that one and then hopefully next year we've got a few you know hopefully pre-covid times we've got a few places lined up um, I'd love to go back to Paris and you know this time with actual spending money I mean to go shopping <laughs> and then actually try some good food, um, you know, go to the opera, things like that. I would really, really like to go back. So yeah. part of the island but I don't have time right now I kind of <laughs> spent too much of it getting lost earlier <laughs> yes I did get lost um, but at the moment I am actually about to go meet a friend her name is Senate and we're gonna go get some tacos at Taco Bamba so I will see you guys then